question, real talk though. When did skincare become an 80 step routine? Asking for a friend. I'm the friend. You got your toners, exfoliators, lip scrubs, jawline smoothing serums, eyebrow plumping juice cleanse, I don't know. And I'm just sitting here like, am I really supposed to be doing all of this? Don't get me wrong, I'm 100% on board for having healthy skin. I like healthy skin, but remembering all these steps and the order in which they go is gonna give me wrinkles. Counterproductive. If you want a complicated skin routine, go for it. You do you, okay? You're not gonna get any shade from me. I have my own complicated routines when it comes to certain things. Like for example, how I parallel park, okay? It's a huge routine, which entails me driving around the block many, many times so I don't have to parallel park. I know my strengths and weaknesses, but is it just me? I feel like skincare has gone from a two, three step process to the point where we're gonna need a 12 step program. It used to be simple, you know, less expensive, less time consuming, and most importantly, less pressure. Remember the good old days where you were a champion if you just washed your makeup off, you were like, oh, pat on the back, you're feeling fancy, you just dab a little eye cream that you borrowed from your sister? I remember that time because that time was this morning. Okay, I have to be at set at 8 a.m. So you know I wake up at 7.48, sue me. But I really do hate this pressure that I feel to do this four hour process to have healthy skin. Four hours is longer than I was wearing makeup for in the first place. And on top of that, you're telling me I have to do this routine morning and night, nah. Okay, the last time I went to the bathroom twice in one day was in like 2010. I'm average in terms of health. Let me break it down for you in this way, okay? If you spend one hour every day on your skincare routine, that means over 10 years, you would have spent 152 days on this routine. Shout out to the math department, blah, blah. That's 152 days I could have spent learning another language. You know what I mean? I wouldn't have, but I'm just saying I could. And speaking of time, why are these products trying to stop it altogether? Anti-aging is like such a thing. In my opinion, having healthy skin is one thing, but trying to erase every sign of age and every wrinkle on your face is another thing. I don't know about you, but like I've been through things in life. You know, I've laughed, I've cried, I've gotten very stressed, and these, I like to wear them like receipts, like yeah, I earned these. According to one report, the skincare industry is gonna be worth over $180 billion by 2024. Though I guess that's only like three bottles of La Mer. <laughs> but I also have to ask, why can't we simplify things? That is what we do. We are the generation of convenience and fast food. So where's my 10-in-1 lotion? We have multivitamins. Why can't this all just be in a pill? That's something for you stay-at-home scientists, okay? Skincare in a pill. In conclusion, I just wanna say, no one here is judging you. You do you, okay? If you spending a lot of time and money on your skincare routine brings you the same happiness as me organizing my closet, go for it. But if you're doing it because you think you have to, can I just say, you're flawless, my friend. You don't gotta do all that. As for me, I'm gonna stick to the basics. You know, as long as I've washed my makeup off, I have won. And to be honest, even if I haven't washed my makeup off once in a while, it was probably a really good night, so still winning. And the irony of this whole entire rant is that I can't stop looking at this pimple. Huh, huh, huh. Maybe I need more steps. I hope you're enjoying season two of A Little Late with Lily Singh. If you're not sick of this face yet, go ahead and click subscribe right over there. Check out more clips just like this one right over there. More importantly, have a great day. Bye!